pretty much throughout my entire career, there was this big focus on the physical aspects of the sports. How strong you were, how fast you were, how flexible you were. As I was developing through college, I was starting to learn a little more about how your mental strength can play a role when you perform. In the professional sports, it's like you realize, all right, everyone's big, everyone's strong, everyone's fast, everyone's very skilled. And what sets players apart is their ability to mentally focus, make decisions, tune into the game. I realized that I needed to pay more attention to my like mind and like my mental health to account for not only the expectations of being a pro, but also just like things move a lot faster. If you're not focused on what's going on in front of you, you're not communicating, you're not doing everything you can, focusing on the game, one mistake leads to a goal. I would say, for me, it started with yoga in college. So that kind of led me down like a path of just like taking care of myself. You know, I became more aware of like the connection that our mind and body has and also like the connection that our breath has to our mind and body. It allowed me to start exploring the relationship between me and like myself. But then when we got to the MLS's back tournament, you know, we had gym sessions and it's like, you know, I would do yoga as like my form of recovery is also just like staying healthy. And uh, some guys were interested. They're like, "Hey, why don't you lead us in like a yoga session?" And I had never done that before. Especially as like a rookie, it's like you kind of feel like you're still learning the ropes of like being a pro. It actually helped me build relationships with guys on my team. At the time, I wasn't playing on the field, but like I feel like it was a way to like contribute to our squad and like the health of our squad. And so that was like the original start of me kind of like taking that step of like sharing this side of myself with my teammates. Um, and from there, it's kind of turned into, you know, so sometimes it was yoga, sometimes it was meditation. Um, I think this year really though picked up in terms of expressing that side of my lifestyle. Being able to just do something simple as just walking barefoot on grass can actually have like a big effect on how you feel and also how like you perform. It's just like a way to like connect to the earth. I, I don't have anything against wearing shoes. But I feel like when my bare feet are on the ground or on the grass, they're like this connection. When you have a very diverse team, guys different ages from different places, and you're able to take some time and actually like build the culture from like the ground up through grounding, talking to each other and making these connections when you're not playing. Because I'm honestly just so grateful to have a team that's invested in this manner. And it's definitely helped out our team culture this year. I don't know, growing up in California, like Northern California, I always had access to like lakes and rivers and like the forest and the mountains. Um, and so like coming here was a big shift to a different environment. It took me a while, but now I can like really like appreciate the beach, even though it's not something that I was like used to experiencing like day to day. Having a space where you can like connect to nature is huge for me. Because I feel like just in like the hustle and bustle of life, like sometimes you need time just to like get out and just like, you know, not be on your phone, not have anything to do other than just, you know, whether it's like looking out at the waves, you, know, you get in the ocean, go for like a little swim and just be present with yourself in like a natural environment is huge. I think mindfulness has a correlation to like self-love and like self-care. I think it just comes down to being aware of your decisions and your thoughts and how those thoughts affect your actions and like this cycle of life where it's like you realize that you can actually like be like in control of your day to day. Things that just help you grow, I think, at the end of the day, because we're in a constant state of growth. I feel like if we're aware of those small steps that like we're making, then it helps us recognize like how far we've come and also where we're going.